everyone welcome to my channel today uh, Pisces I'm going to do a love reading please remember this is a general reading uh, timing is flexible so if you'd like a personal reading my information is in the description box now this reading may not resonate with everyone okay just take the uh, messages that do resonate with you this will be for your Sun your moon your rising and your Venus signs uh, what else here? Feel free uh, to check out uh, your other signs. There is a video playlist link in the description box. And um, so you can uh, check out your other signs if you wish. Now the last thing that I have for you, I am doing um, a giveaway at the end of the month. I'm giving away two personal readings. And um, to enter, you just have to subscribe, like, and comment. If you're already a subscriber, then you just have to like and comment, okay? So I'm just laying the cards out here as we talk, or as I talk, I should say. Um, winners will be announced the first week of every month. I will do a video with angel messages as well. Uh, so feel free to enter. So I'm going to get one more card here, and then we'll start the reading. Just pulling the energy, and I'm going to pull a couple uh, love oracle cards here too. See what we got, and then we'll begin. Okay, let's get two messages for Pisces. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What love messages do you have for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know regarding love? There's one, and there's two. Okay. So the first card that you have is called Look Inside Yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. All right, so there, I feel here there may be some, some internal struggle or in internal conflict, um, or maybe there's just something that um, is on your mind. So I feel like this is definitely something um, you may have been pondering about or thinking about. All right, so let's get the second card here. See if you can see that. Uh, you have freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So I feel here whatever you're thinking about or whatever you're pondering, um, you know, your angels want you to know that you have the freedom and the free will and free choice to make a decision or to move forward and give yourself that freedom okay there's nothing holding you back but probably yourself okay all right i'm gonna take a quick sip of um, my diet coke here let's turn these cards over see what the energy is here okay we have the two of water the seven of water and the seven of earth. We have two sevens here. So this is two of cups energy. So dealing with a soulmate energy here, someone you're very emotionally attached to, your yin, your yang. Um, definitely uh, spiritually connected, deep emotional attachment here. You could, uh, this is your energy, Pisces, or could be dealing with another Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Uh, but definitely, uh, there is somebody here in your life here. Now, the next card that you have is the Seven of Earth. Okay, so this tells me, um, Pisces, that you're doing really good. I feel here um, you're pretty grounded, you're pretty stable here, you're looking good, attractive. Um, I feel like you're feeling quite comfortable right now. Um, and I feel like this is something um, when it comes to finances or security, okay, this could also be, um, you know, financial security here or you're in a good place. Uh, with business or career and then you have your seven of cups or seven of water here so I do feel like there is definitely something on your mind I feel like there's something that you're pondering here okay it could be that there could be like a lot of options going on right now when it comes to your life um, or in love here 
or somebody may have you a bit confused or you're not sure how how to proceed in the situation here so that's the energy I'm getting so now we're going to move on and I'm going to pull uh, cards now um, for your reading this is a psychic uh, tarot oracle deck we're going to hone in on the energy a little bit more here so I'm getting Pisces there's something here that's on your mind is what I'm getting here it has to do with love somebody you definitely have an attachment for now remember that um, roles can always be reversed okay so if this is not you this could be the other person so take the messages how they resonate with you let me just cut these cards <coughs> excuse me I had to do a little cough there still getting over this thing all right thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what messages do you have for Pisces in love what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces in love Okay, we have conflict and defeat, heartache and loss, hope, which is always beautiful. Let's get the focus and foundation of the reading. We have spiritual strength, beautiful. Let's moving these down here so I have room. I need a bigger desk. And let's get a um, possible outcome here. Oh, beautiful. We have harmony. Okay. We will clarify these cards. Bottom of the deck, we have material and spiritual prosperity. So this is beautiful here. So I do feel here, I talked about, I felt like you're coming into a place or you're already in a place where things are starting to become a little bit more grounded financially um, this tells me there's abundance coming here um, and I feel here this card is about also um, knowing that all things are possible okay that there is a future that ahead that is very abundant okay so beautiful card there so let's start here I feel here in the current situation there is some conflict or defeat here there's something that you've been thinking about, pondering about, could be a conflict um, with your person. Now, this is going to be for people who already have somebody in your life. This is not a singles reading, so I just want to put that out there. Um, this could be you or your person. Somebody's feeling a little bit defeated, a little bit conflicted here. This can also be self-sabotage, um, you know, you know, really... Um, maybe put in some energy there but i'm not feeling that for a lot of you for a lot of you i'm feeling somebody here is feeling a little bit conflicted and a little bit defeated um and not exactly sure how to proceed is what i'm getting because i do see here in the past there was some heartache and some loss so i feel here something happened here there was something very painful something very hurtful i feel like this is past and i feel like um there's healing now and there has been movement forward but I still feel like somebody here in the situation is still feeling a little bit conflicted over the situation for some of you I feel like this could be over finances um, if you're with this person if you're still together um, if you're not together um, I feel like there may be something where the two of you may not be um, seeing things on the same page or there is maybe some type of argument or rift um, in the situation okay so foundation of the reading we have spiritual strength so I feel here Pisces your spiritual strength is what's getting you through this this could be your person but this is a beautiful number this is a number of destiny um, and I feel here that um, you are being guided and you are being supported uh, spiritually okay the divine um, and your angels and guides are looking out for you so even though you may be feeling um, conflicted I feel here you have a uh, spiritual support here and this freedom card just now I feel like they want me to reiterate that to you You have the freedom and the free will of your own choices now the future guidance card you have here is hope which is beautiful 
Um, so this tells me that um, your angels are saying there's definitely uh, hope in the situation. There is um, light. There's going to be some light being shined on the situation. So there may be some new information coming in. Um, but I feel that they're telling you to be hopeful. All right. And then the possible um, outcome here, we have harmony. Okay. This is just beautiful. Peace and harmony. Two people coming together. You also had the two of cups here. So whatever the situation is, whatever this conflict is between you and this person, I do see possible outcome here is the goal here is to get to peace and harmony. Uh, so let's, um, I'm going to clarify these cards with the Crystal Visions deck here. Let's see what we get. Okay, so let me cut these. All right, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. Let's start here. Why is the two of water here, please? Why is the two of water here, please? Knight of Cups, yeah. You got somebody coming in with some romance, a proposition, a love expression. Uh, again, water energy here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So your person is, um, they may even be apologizing too. That can be an apology or some romantic gesture. Or you may be receiving some flowers from this person soon. It is Mother's Day tomorrow, so happy Mother's Day. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is the uh, seven of earth here, please? Why is the seven of earth here, please? Okay, so we have the hangman. Okay. So this can be um, seeing things from a new perspective here. Um, you know, I feel here, like I said, I feel like you're coming into a position of prominence is the word that Spirit's giving me, a position of prominence, um, feeling pretty wealthy. And if it's not finances, it just might be feeling pretty um, grateful and having grat gratitude for what you have. Okay, so I feel like you're definitely seeing things in a different light here. And I feel like you're coming to a more grounded and um, solid place here. Okay, I'm going to move on now. Why is the seven of water here, please? Why is the seven of water here, please? Yeah, there's some decision here you're trying to make or someone in the situation. Actually, I'm sorry. This is the Ten of Wands. This is not the Two of Wands. This is uh, Fire Energy, Aquarius. Gosh, what am I doing? Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm getting here. There is something that's on your mind. Um, you either have a lot going on or there's a lot of different opportunities. There could be, um, you might be experiencing a lot of challenges. But the good thing here is this is a Ten of Wands. You're almost to the top of that mountain. You're almost over all of the challenges. You've done the work um, and you're almost there. Okay, so maybe it's just you needing to finish up the details here. Um, and that's what this Seven of Cups here is, you or your person you're dealing with. And that's probably why I'm seeing you here, that you have a new perspective and you're feeling a lot more grounded is what I'm getting. Um, because I feel like you've pretty much worked through a lot of the challenges, all right, or your person has. And now they're, they're getting ready to come in here with um, some romance. I mean, maybe the romance has been put on the back burner because there's been a lot of things that have been needing to be taken care of, maybe career-wise, financially, okay, everything going on um, with the world situation. So let's uh, clarify now, why is conflict and defeat here? Why is conflict and defeat here? Beautiful. We have Wheel of Fortune, okay? Closing out old cycles. I told you these challenges are coming to an end here. This conflict and defeat is going away. Blessings are coming your way. Things are turning in your favor. So this is just beautiful, beautiful Pisces. All right. Let's look at this past energy of this heartache and loss. Why is the heartache and loss here, please? Why is heartache and loss here, please? 
justice. Okay, yeah. So there was um, some heartache and loss, and I feel here this is Spirit saying you're going to get the justice that you deserve here in this situation. You're going to get the clarity that you need. Um, you may have you may have already gotten the justice and the clarity here, but if you haven't, it's coming in. And you this could be um, a Libra that you're dealing with as well. Let's get clarification here on the um, spiritual strength card, please. Let's get some clarity on spiritual strength. Beautiful Ace of Pentacles. Spirit and your angels and the divine are really looking out for you. Look at the universe is giving you this big pentacle, a new start, a new solid foundation here. So I feel here there's something coming, coming there's some blessing coming here that's going to provide something more stable for the future. You know, this could be some money coming in. This could be um, a love offer of commitment. Um, you know, there's something significantly changing here, which is beautiful. All right. So let's get, um, why is hope here? Why is hope here? And I did say, say that here, material and spiritual prosperity. I did see that that's coming. It's, it's in the future. It's on its way. All right. Uh, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. Why is hope here, please? Why is hope here, please? Okay, we have six of swords. So I feel here there may have been a situation. You may have walked away from somebody um, or you may have just let go of um, the conflict, that conflict and defeat that I talked about. You may have just decided to let it go um, and just be hopeful for the future of what is to come. So, and it may be a message too. The guidance here is that you need to let it go. Whatever you've been holding on to, that's making you feel conflicted. I feel like they're saying you need to let it go. You need to move on from it. And it could be this heartache from the past. Okay. You need to let it go is what they're saying. Let's get one more card here. Why is uh, the hope card here? Yeah. Temperance. So you have the temperance card as well. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You also have here Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. So I feel here this is an indication that um, the guidance here is you got to um, be hopeful, stay positive, try to keep your emotions under control and in balance, and let go of whatever this past heartache is, okay? Try and let it go. It doesn't mean you forget about it, but it's just about letting it go be, so that it doesn't burden you, all right? So that you can gain um, the freedom, okay, that you need here. So you can stop feeling the way that you've been feeling, whatever you've been carrying with you. All right, so let's uh, clarify harmony. Why is harmony here, please? Why is harmony here, please? Beautiful six of cups. You got double confirmation here. All right, so definitely um, I feel here what you're seeking here um, with your soulmate is coming. Okay, and there's going to be peace and harmony between you. That is just beautiful. All right, I'm going to pull. Um, so if you haven't uh, been in communication with your soulmate here, I feel like that's coming. Someone from your past is um, going to be reaching out to you here with the Knight of Cups. You may be receiving an apology. You may be being asked out on a date um, or some romantic gesture or gift. Okay, because they definitely have been thinking about you. All right, so let's get three cards for Pisces. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Pisces? Let's get three cards, please. Okay, we have romantic feelings. Yes, a romantic gesture is coming. We have new love. Okay. And we have here, this could be the one. And look at on the bottom of the deck. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, so some of you may have maybe a little bit mentally conflicted, um, having some fearful thoughts. Um, you know, or feeling a little bit in conflict about something here. And I feel the guidance from spirit is you got to let it go. You got to free yourself here. Okay. This is a, a double message here. Free yourself. 
you have the power and the free will to free yourself from this. Okay, so as I said, we had romantic feelings, we have new love, and we have this could be the one. Okay, so for some of you, this could be new love coming in for you. Okay, this could be a new soulmate coming in. Um, you know, this conflict and defeat, this could be, uh, you know, you letting go of past hurts that are going to interfere with new love. Okay, so some of you this is going to be the new love. Some of the, you this may uh, just be somebody that you're already with or somebody who is returning. But I do see here um, there is going to be some romance coming in for you. So beautiful messages there. Okay, so I'm going to pull a few of these love oracle cards and to close out the reading. Thank you, angels and spirit. Ooh. We already got two messages here, three messages here. Let's see what we have here. Wow. Okay, so the first card that you have is not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person boundaries still angry here yeah this is what i feel like is on your mind there's something still on your mind that you're having a hard time dealing with so it may not be today that you want to talk to this person okay or vice versa um but they like you i like you sometimes someone likes you romance is blooming Fun flirting, want to date, yeah. I told you I feel how this person's gonna is going to do something romantic, ask you on a date, um, make some uh, romantic gesture here. Could even be an apology, All right? So that is coming. This could also be this new love. And look at you have here. You have this could be the one. And on top of that card, you have engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. This is the thing. All things coming together here. So it's all going to work out here beautifully for you here, Pisces. Um, so beautiful reading, beautiful reading. Ace of Pentacles here. Look at, you got the ring and abundance. Wow, Pisces, you're going to have it all. Material and spiritual uh, prosperity, okay? You had the spiritual, spiritual support and strength here too. Wow, amazing Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Pisces. Again, if you want to enter for the giveaway, uh, subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.